about you too. Hi everyone, Farmer Kit here. I hope you're all doing well and today we thought you could join us on one of our training sessions with little Rob and little Annie. Now you probably know I've been bottle feeding these two for quite a while now while well, myself and the other farmers here at Cannon Hall Farm and just recently in the last few days what I've been doing is popping some head collars on in the case of Rob and in Annie's case we have a dog collar. So what I've been doing is popping them on, getting them used to how that feels. And today is kind of a big moment because for the first time I'm gonna try, see how they react to having a lead rope on. So they are used to coming outside now and following me around, but this is kind of like a really big step. So I'm not sure how they're gonna do, but it's a really important learning process for them to get them to learn to get used to it. So are you ready, you two? I think you are, come on then. Hey yeah. Let's see what we make of this. Hey, hi. Well done, good boy. Good boy, Rob. Come on, over here. Now, I have done this before with Helen last year, so uh, we do know kind of what to expect in terms of training an alpaca to lead on a lead rein, but I've never d trained a goat before, so it's going to be a new experience for me as well. Um, I've trained a few dogs, so I've do got a dog collar, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, Annie? You're used to wearing this now, so let's put this on. You look very smart when you wear it. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Well done. Now it's something she's probably going to grow into. It is quite loose on her at the moment. It's actually one of my dog's old collars, so I borrowed it from her. And Rob, are you going to come here? Good boy. Well done. Very smart. Well done. Well done. So I'm going to give them like a little bit of time to kind of get used to that pressure being in the areas they're not used to it and then I'm going to see how we go popping these lead reins on. You, so I'm going to start with Annie, good girl. So there's just some slight bit more pressure on now. So she's just going to get used to that. Hey girl. And I'm just going to kind of like let her wander around. So with Annie, I deliberately picked a collar that was quite slack, so I didn't want anything too tight, especially with her kind of just learning and being an animal that's not used to wearing a collar at all. And yeah, she looks very smart, you're doing good. Are you gonna have a little wander? Let's go. I think Annie has done really well there. I haven't kept her on this rope for too long, so I'm going to unclip her now, just before she kind of turns it into a bad experience in her head. And then we're going to start with Robert. I'm not sure how he's going to react. I mean, Helen was a little bit unsure to start with, but he's quite a brave little chap, so we'll see how it goes. Yep, yeah, your turn next. Good lad. So I'm going to clip this one on. That's all right. Well done. Annie, you've had your go, you did really well. So it's kind of like a little bit of weight under his chin just with that metal clip. So he's getting used to that as well. Good boy. Well done. That's all right. That's all right. Good boy. You gonna come this way? Lovely stuff. Well done. I'm so pleased with how these these two both did just now so we're not going to take them out today just because I don't want to kind of overwhelm them with new experiences so I'm gonna kind of keep going little bits at a time every day just kind of doing this for five to ten minutes and in the next kind of big event we'll be trying the lead ropes outside so I hope you'll be able to join us for that I mean they're both doing so well especially little Rob really surprised me he did absolutely fantastically I mean you never know, maybe one day we'll be doing this in a show ring with him or Rob and Dave will, of course. So, I really hope you enjoyed seeing them and I really hope you'll be able to join us next time for their next step of the journey. See you later.